Holy motherfucking shit, motherfuckers, dude. That was fucking bad. Fucking ass, man. That was fucking forever broken right there with the brand new, brand new fucking track, The Hunt. Dude, let's call these motherfuckers up right the fuck now and see what the fuck is going on in their world, man. Hello, hello. Dude, what the fuck is going on, man? Not much, brother. What's going on? Jamming out to the show. Hell, hell fuck yeah, dude. We just got done blasting the brand new track, The Hunt, from Forever Broken, man. Uh, what can you tell us about that shit, man? What the fuck is going on, dude? What the fuck are you guys eating, man? Like, what are you smoking, <laughs> dude? Like, how the fuck are you making this shit? Well, we just, I mean, we met, you know, a couple years ago, and our guitar player, Scott, he's had this band, uh, Forever Broken, and, you know, I'm kind of newer to the area, and I see an ad, and I'm like, you know, what the fuck is this all about? You know, I'm trying to get some music going, and we got in and really and really dug the riffs and dude it just kind of took off from there honestly that's buck that that's fucking badass dude you said you fucking read an ad yeah i'm scrolling <laughs> through facebook fucking trying to find some music trying to find something somewhere to throw down and yeah it just come across and i was like well fuck you know me and the guitar player the lead player michael that's my dad well I was like, hell, they need a guitar player, too. And I said, well, why don't I just message them? And we've been jamming ever since. Hell yeah, man. It's just like those fucking documentaries, man. Like, that's what that sounds like, dude. That's fucking cool, man. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> hell yeah, dude. So, uh, as far as, man, like, these fucking tracks, dude, I gotta tell you, man, the shit fucking... I heard this band before, but I've heard them now, and it's a totally different fucking thing, man. With you on vocals, dude, you are fucking killing it, man. Like, appreciate that. Hell yeah, dude. Tell us, uh, like, uh, as far as your uh, vocal influences, man. Like, well, you know, I I always say that I grew up in the wrong generation, so to speak, but. Uh, I'm very old school when it comes to my influences. You know, I grew up listening to everything from, you know, Pantera, Judas Priest, you know, Testament. Hell, I'd go to, I'd go to sleep in the car listening to, you know, Demu Borger. You know, it just it ranges from everything. But yeah. I would say my main is definitely, you know, Rob Halford. That's like the idol. <laughs> man he's fucking badass dude and that's what i've been like that's what i've been telling a lot of people like when i listen to you guys' songs that's what i think about in my mind the band sounds like a fucking grooving fucking pantera fucking type band even the right. solos are badass man but then you got these vocals on top too that are like fucking in my mind, a mix between Halford and fucking Ripper, dude, because you also hit some of the fucking other, uh, like the deeper notes, and then like, and then there is definitely some Alice in Chains mixed into it too, which is oh, yeah. so fucking bizarre when you really think about it, but <laughs> at the same time, it's really cool, like when you listen to it, it makes sense. Right, that was the main, see, whenever we got, we got together and we started writing this EP, that was the main thing we wanted. We wanted to make sure that we weren't stuck in a genre. You know what I mean? We wanted to, we all are very, you know, emotion driven and we get into it and we wanted it to be an outlet that other people can feel too. And it not be subject to just one community. It, we wanted it to get out to everybody, man. Hell yeah, man. Well, this is definitely... <laughs> It's getting out there, man. It's got to, man. Like, this is so fucking badass. I keep telling people, I'm like, man, you got to hear this shit. And uh, it is, man. Like, super congrats, man. Fucking uh, super props out to you guys, man. It's just, it's amazing. Appreciate that, brother. Um, it, it, As far as, like, some of the lyrical content, can you give us a description about that? Um, Well, like I said, uh, we're, like I said, we're very you know, emotion driven. And I didn't want, you know, cheesy lyrics. That's the one thing. Oh man, I can't do it. I just can't do it as much as I love, you know, old school music. Some of them, you know, 
you know, especially like power metal scene, you know, riding on the wing of the eagle, soaring through the sky, shit like that. I wanted it to be kind of down home and kind of something relatable and, you know, and I don't, I don't subject myself to being the only one to write lyrics. You know, if, if somebody's got an idea, you know, I'm, we're all about bringing ideas forward. And, uh, and then, you know, some of the song, like there's a track on, uh, on the EP called a flame still burns. Uh, actually it's pretty, it's pretty close to all of us, you know, it's, a, it's just the lyrics are that's probably my favorite song when it comes to lyrics you know it's just really meaningful but hell and then there's songs where we just I, I i just feel like beating the shit out of somebody and that's what comes through you know what i mean so it's just one of those things man everybody kind of pitches in and we all kind of just do what we're feeling especially for the vibe of the riffs or whatever so hell yeah man as far as the production on the record too man like where did you guys go to do this, man? Because it sounds fucking really, really good. Did you? I appreciate that. You know where we went? Our own studio. Hell that yeah. That is completely dude. home done. Hell yeah, man. That's what I'm fucking talking about, man. That's <laughs> DIY, dude. Like fucking 100%. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Well, it, that's crazy, though, because it really does sound like you guys are in a fucking studio. We, we worked really hard on it, man. Hell, we, we've been sitting on this, you know, tweaking this, tweaking that, and doing everything we can, and, you know, all of us having fresh ears on it. and We'll send it out to everybody, and everybody will get together and, you know, kind of throw out ideas on what needs this and what needs that. And, yeah, we sat on it for a minute just waiting to be happy with it. We, it finally clicked, and we were just like, it's ready. Let's get it out there, especially with this fucking – you know, festival coming up, and, you know, you got to have your music ready when there's portals to hell opening up. You can't just, <laughs> you can't just not have that shit ready. Dude. Yeah, man. There's, that's right. But there's going to be fucking portals to fucking hell, man. Like what the fuck is going to happen, dude? Are fucking like, uh, those creatures from stranger things going to fucking start jumping <laughs> out, terrorizing the crowd and shit. Like, holy fuck. These people really fucking think that shit too, man. Like it's crazy, dude. But that's the crazy part. I know you guys are from the south too, so I'm sure you know, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But you know, I've, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say that I've had there was there was one show. I won't go too much into it, but uh, there was one show we played. You know, everybody's jamming on it. First high note rings out in the night song later cops shut us down man it's it we were too close to the church it, it happens yeah yeah that's crazy man well hopefully i don't think they'll be able to shut this down like they want to but uh you know we're gonna have fucking security and cops gonna be out there and everything you know like it's it's gonna be a protected area man so they can Hell, uh yeah. you know they can protest across the street which i'm sure they'll probably be doing probably heckling the people as they're coming in and stuff like that you know fucking i live for it man that's just more people i get to play for yeah, hell yeah man we, we're making sure that the amplification of the fucking PA <laughs> system i'm serious dude like this thing is gonna be a monster man it's gonna be fucking loud man i'm gonna make sure those motherfuckers hear that shit man all of it dude we're all ready for it hell yeah man hell yeah uh as far as like the whole band I know you guys all have different influences and stuff that you bring to the table, um, you know, as far as what we were talking about earlier. But like, can you break that down? Can you tell us like some of what, what are some of the craziest things that all you guys different listen to? Well, okay, say so. There's a bit of an age gap uh, between so me and the drummer. You know, I'm I'm in my mid twenties, and the drummer's you know late twenties, early thirties. And the uh, the guitar player and the bass player, you know, they're in their early 50s, you know what I mean? So there's that, whereas me and the drummer, you know, we can we can bring in, you know, some of the heavier, I mean, something like Shinedown, you know, stuff like that to jam on, whereas they'll bring in, you know, Sabotage, stuff like that. I mean, it just, it differs a lot. And, I mean, even when it comes to, uh, even when it comes to, stuff like that hell we all aren't stuck on metal you know what i mean we bring in different influences you know when it comes to stuff like that i mean there's influences everywhere you look if you're really 
willing to kind of wrap your head around it. So, I mean, but like I said, we will bring in, you know, some more modern stuff to listen to, like, you know, both my Valentine, you know, uh, some, some of the new parkway drive stuff that's coming out. is really badass. And then, uh, you know, and then in the same breath, we'll switch it over to cannibal corpse and we'll fucking grind on that, you know, as we're setting up rigging for practice or whatever. So it really just jumps back and forth between everything. Fuck yeah, man. Another question I got to ask you, man. What is it like jamming with your fucking dad, dude? Like, that's fucking badass, man. Man, I'll tell you what. It is a trip. It has been. I am very lucky. I consider myself blessed to have been able to do it for so long. I I grew up roadieing for my dad. <laughs> yeah, My dad, I mean, he's, I mean, this guy is crazy on guitar. He's, he's he played in bands. He's yeah. opened for Judas Priest. I mean, honestly. And I'm just, you know, and, you know, he's taken me to some of these bigger shows when I was younger and he taught me everything, you know, believe it or not, I started out on guitar. I wasn't even a vocalist. And then, you know, me and my dad are jamming together and all of a sudden it's like, Hey, we need a vocalist. Can you do that? And I was like, yeah, I'll try. And here we are, you know what I mean? And me and him, you know, we've always had a good relationship and, you know, and I've been very lucky with that. And, you know, half of my musical ideas stem from things that he started that i've been listening to my whole life you know what i mean hell he's got riffs in the computer that are 20 years old that i've been listening to for that long so it's just we always go back and forth you know creatively because we're kind of we're kind of right there mentally because we've been around each other so long so the music really flows hell yeah man well you, you guys are definitely fucking bringing it man like fuck man it, it it sounds like, like when I'm listening to it, man, it's just everybody in the whole band is bringing their A game, man. All the fucking different elements are there, man. Like, for, uh, I don't know, man. Like, there's all kinds of good stuff that comes out all the time, you know. And there's all kinds of cool stuff right now, too. But, like, there's, every now and then you hear something that's a little bit different. And it's got its own thing, even though it's got elements of other things in it but it is still its own thing man and it really sounds fucking cool man appreciate that brother means a lot so uh as far as like the recording process can you tell us about that man like some of the fucking techniques and and different things do you know like some of the rigs and stuff that you guys are using to get these tones uh yeah um a lot of you know, a lot of this EP, uh, our bass player Scott has had these riffs, and you know, we had been kind of working through them when we joined the band. And you know, we all got together, and you know, we had been through a couple different members in the past, you know, two or three years, just finding the vision, you know, things like that. And we found the group we have now, and we've been together probably for a year or two now, maybe longer, but uh we finally found that you know that connection well we started with these riffs man and you know they're they're good ass riffs and we just started jamming them out one day at practice you know we got a little practice hall we're practicing and and we're just you know thinking well what if we added this here what if we added that there well we kind of had these songs wrote they were written already and then you know we have basically a home studio set up so everything was just kind of mic'd up, you know, cranked out, and we sat down and just jammed these riffs out and tweaked them a bit to, you know, get them how we wanted them, you know. And fortunately, being, you know, in the age we're at, if you don't like a tone, you can reamp it. You can do this and that to it, you know what I mean? You got all kinds of gear that you can that really helps nowadays and that's i know you were talking about some of the gear side of it that's you know it starts you know of course it starts with the fingers you know what i mean that's our bass player he's got a real heavy pick in hand and you know our lead guitar player he's got a lighter you know faster lead style so sometimes you know we would just really crank up the distortion on that bass tone and let the lead fly you know what i mean and some stuff like that really just worked out man Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. 
Well, I definitely know all the gearheads out there listening are fucking uh, digging that shit, man. I dig that shit, dude, because I'm a guitar player, too, and uh, fucking, like, all that shit, man. We think about that kind of shit, you know? Oh, yeah. Man, fuck it. I gotta say, too, like, it's really cool that you jam with your dad like that, too, in this band, because, to me, that's also an inspiration to me as another, as a father as well, myself, like... My son, he's my youngest, man. He's got a fucking drum set, little drum set, and he fucking jams out with me sometimes when I'm jamming. So, I don't know. That's man. awesome, just, man. Yeah, yeah. It's really cool. It's, it's cool to see, like, what can happen sometimes when you guys yeah. grow up, you know? Fuck. Well, man, thanks a lot for taking the time to talk to us, dude. Uh, I'm about out of questions. Is there anything else you want to let the people know? Uh, just real quick, want to let everybody know, Forever Broken. On Facebook, you know, we're, we're we're building some website stuff right now, getting some merch. We're getting ready to get some CDs. Uh, we're pretty much everywhere you can stream music right now on Spotify. You know, look us up. And I appreciate you having me on, brother. Hell yeah, dude! Anytime, man. Before I let you go, can I get you to make us a station tag real quick? You're listening to Metal Devastation Radio. Rock out. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. All right, man. Appreciate it, brother. Fuck yeah, dude. Anytime, man. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks so much. Talk to you later. There you have it, folks. Fucking forever broken right there live on the Zach Moonshine Show with Metal Devastation fucking radio. Like I said earlier, man, put your speakers in your fucking windows. Put them in your front lawns. Put them wherever the fuck you can, man. Make everybody around you fucking hear this shit, man. If you don't fucking see U-Haul trucks everywhere tomorrow, (laughs) <laughs> what the fuck man I'm serious dude fucking U-Haul trucks man that's what we want to see pictures of fucking U-Haul trucks crank it the fuck up mother